Learning new details in that case that sounds like something right out of a TV movie. A baby snatched out of his home and fire set as his, as his mom was sleeping. What makes this so shocking? We've learned the baby's mom and the kidnapper were friends and that the suspect was hiding another big secret. Our TV6 reporter Julie Persley talked to the child's mother. Julie? Well, Metro police officers are saying very little about this case at this time because it's still in the hands of the investigators. The baby's mom says that she's eternally grateful to Metro police for what they did, and she tells me she fears that her friend may have been plotting to set her apartment on fire and take her child for quite some time. Little William Gibson turned one month old yesterday. After what happened to him today, his mother, 18-year-old Juanita Gibson, says she doesn't want anyone touching her son. She woke up to a room filled with smoke and multiple fires in the family's northwest side apartment, including one under William's bassinet. But then I seen the fire right there, so I hurried up, pushed his bed out the way, and then put it out. And my grandma, my grandmother put out the one in the kitchen, and she came over by his bed to check on him, I guess, and noticed he wasn't there. Gibson, her mother, and grandmother were okay, but they noticed a friend who had been staying with him was also missing, Desiree Kent, a young woman who befriended her at the mall a few months ago. The family says Kent told them she was pregnant and needed a place to stay since she was overdue and would be induced this weekend. I called my phone and she answered and was like, um, you got the car yet, bruh? So I sat on the phone. I didn't say anything to her. I hung up and then I called the police. The family says Metro Police were able to quickly track Kent through Gibson's stolen cell phone and by using the GPS locator in the grandmother's car, which they say Kent also took. They found her and the baby in the 2500 block of Raider on the west side of Indianapolis at the home of an acquaintance. She said she went over there and was like, my baby cold. So she let her in, not thinking anything of it. Then shortly after that, the police came knocking on the door. Gibson says they found out today that Kent was not pregnant. She had a fake stomach. She wasn't really pregnant. So what do you think she was doing? I think she had intentions on coming over here and stealing my baby and all of us dying and her raising him as her own. Now that Kent is behind bars, Gibson and her family are thanking Indianapolis police officers for reuniting them with this little boy that they are calling their Christmas miracle. I was so excited. I had so much relief. That's an awful feeling, waking up to your baby not here and a person you thought was your friend steal your baby out of your possession after you done did all of this for her. Metro Police tell us they will be turning the case over to the prosecutor's office and that Kent is expected to face charges ranging from kidnapping, arson to auto theft and theft. Also, Metro Police tell us that the baby was taken to Riley Hospital. Again, that child is okay and back home with mom, as you saw tonight. What else we've learned today is the fact that the baby's father, William Alves, is a man we told you about yesterday. He was sentenced to more than two decades in prison yesterday for the shooting. Apparently, he injured his ex-girlfriend over the summer. It was a shooting outside of Tech High School. Again, this story is still unfolding. We'll have much more coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live outside of the city county building julie persley rtv6 julie thank you and stay with rtv6 as this story continues to unfold go to our website theindychannel.com for the latest on this case that's where you'll find the full interview with juanita gibson it's also available on our rtv6 app